guys. Good evening, everybody. Hello there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rose. Okay, let's start with the class. Give me just a moment to share the presentation. So we can, we can start with this. Okay. See? Presentation. Okay, give me just a moment. It is See, oh, yes. okay, let me know if you can see the person, guys. Can you see the person? Me indican, please. Si como ver la presentación, can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so let's have a review, right, of the topics that we have studied. Let's have a review. Okay, let's see. Uh, Janet, tell me, what did we study yesterday? What, what did we study? I don't remember. Can you remind me, please, Janet? We was working with uh, do and does. We were working with do and does, right? That's we work with do and does. Thank you, Janet. Okay, Rose, I don't remember when to use do. Can you explain it, please? Mm -hmm. I need. Mm -hmm. Okay, we use that when we have uh, when we have uh, he, she, and it. And what about do, Rose? When can I use do? I. Mm -hmm. You. Okay, we. I. You. We. we. Mm -hmm. They. They. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, Manuel, tell me what else did we do? ¿Qué más hicimos, Manuel? What else did we do? Or what else did you learn? Yes, Manuel? Yes, teacher, yes. Eh, bueno, luego hicimos eh, exercise eh, con WH question. Mm -hmm. Using WH questions, okay. Okay, can you give me, can you provide me an example, Emmanuel, about the WH questions? And um, yes, teacher. Quiero mm. ver. Mm. An example using WH question. Uh, what do you do? What do you do, right? What do you do? Where? What do you do for living? We can ask yes, que trabajas, right? What do you do for living? Perfect, Manuel. Thank you. Hey, Oscar. What else can you add to the information? we got from this. What else can you tell me? Sí, good evening, by the way. Hey, thank you, good evening. See the negative too? Oh, the negatives, right. Can you remind me please, how can I do that type of negative thing you said? Can you provide me a sentence, negative? Mm -hmm. I'm, try, I'm trying to remember teacher, okay, but, I, use, but I can make it up. Okay, we use don't, right? We use don't? Ah, uh, use don't. And doesn't, right? And doesn't too. Give me a sentence, please. I don't remember too much about this topic. 
for example, she doesn't study at, in, at this school. This is correct. She doesn't is study studies at the school like that. No, she da she doesn't study. Mm -hmm. She doesn't study or studies. No, study. Study, right? So yeah. You don't have to use studies in that. That's right. Doesn't study at school. Perfect. That's yeah. right. It's great. Okay, so we have a clear understanding of the topic, right? So let's move on to the questions, right? Remember that yesterday I assigned you the homework where you have to talk about the questions, favorite part. So let's see if you did the homework. Okay, let's start then with Manuel. Okay, Manuel. So remember that you had to choose five questions, right? Recordemos que teníamos que elegir five questions y luego explain each of them. Okay, Manuel, let me know if you have the task. Do you have it, Manuel? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You didn't disappoint me. No me decepcionó, right? Okay. Disappoint. Disappoint. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead, please, Manuel. Okay. Uh, question number three. Question number three. Mm -hmm. What are some, some things you do every day? Mm -hmm. mm, I, I do work every day. Mm -hmm. And nada más. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another yes. question. Yes, and number four, mm -hmm. do you have any bad habits? No, I don't. And number six, mm -hmm. what is something you eat almost every day? And I can eat pupusas every day. <laughs> <laughs> How many pupusas do you eat? <laughs> yes. How many? And, um, How many? Num number seven. Uh -huh. um, three, three pupusas. Three pupusas, okay, per day. Yes. Okay. Continue. Number seven, and uh, what do you do at your job? And I am a salesperson of the electric tools. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and the number 10. Mm -hmm. What is something you do about once every month? Once every month. Mm -hmm. I, I go to the gym. And you go to the gym, okay, to maintain your muscles, para mantener los yes, muscles, yes. right? <laughs> you have to burn the pupusas, you have to burn the calories, right? Okay, quemar calories, right? Calories in the gym. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Okay, so let's listen now to uh, Rose. Are you ready, Rose, with the questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, espero que los que... Pero solo voy a dar este... Es para, es para los que no han terminado, pueden aprovechar en este momento mientras sus compañeros presentan, right? Okay, sorry, Rose, can you please continue? Uh, question number one. Mm -hmm. What, uh, I like to cook. Mm -hmm. um, I like to do exercise. Mm -hmm. Number two. My good habits are, for example, clean up my house, brush my teeth every day. Mm -hmm. Number three, I work every day. Mm -hmm. I do breakfast and I do a shower. Mm -hmm. Number four, mm -hmm. yes, I fart or I do not, I do not apology. Apol apologies. I do not. What, what do you mean, Rose? Can, can, what do you mean with that? Apology. Apology. You don't apologize. Yes. 
Okay, I don't, muy bien, I don't apologize. Number five. Mm -hmm. uh, do exercise. Mm -hmm. I do not eat healthy. Healthy, healthy yeah, <laughs> healthy, me too, right? Healthy, saludable. Sometimes, right? We broke the rules. Okay, continue, Rose. Number six. Mm -hmm. I do apple every day. Six. Okay, you eat apples every day. Okay. Number seven. Mm -hmm. I do the assistant. The assistant, okay. For example, I do billing. Mm -hmm. Register in, in, in voice. Mm -hmm. Register, okay. Okay, no, you did a very good job. Thank you, Rose. Excellent. Okay, perfect, Rose. Thank you. So let's listen to some other classmates. I don't know if you have them. And let's see. Henry, do you have the questions, Henry? I guess. Okay, please. Can you? Where it is. Mm -hmm. um, and why? Mm -hmm. Uh, what are some of the activities you like to do? Mm -hmm. I like to go running, white, dark dog, mm -hmm. and play soccer. Okay. And you? What, what are, what are some good? How did you how? Mm -hmm. uh, great. Sing. Mm -hmm. Dance. Dance. And play. And be caution. Mm -hmm. Before it. Uh, li leaving. No sé cómo dice, perdón. Before leaving. Okay. Leaving. And three. Uh -huh. And what are some of that three? Uh, uh, can me, uh, came, came to my house to uh -huh. have a cup of coffee and white bread or cereal or cereal. Uh -huh. Eh, son muchos. Eh, bueno, eh, do you do you how any bay habitus mm -hmm. and take off my show? After coming home from work. Ah, okay. You take a shower when you arrive at home after a work day. Okay, that is dangerous. Yes. <laughs> it is unhealthy. Eh, eso es muy malo, unhealthy. El amigo que murió de eso, you know. Oh. Yeah, he died. Yeah, yes. I'm going to tell you the story later, but take care with that. Yes, um, and five. Mm -hmm. um, sería eh, la respuesta, perdón. The answer, yeah. Do you not grab that preview class? Eh, no repasar antes de la clase. Okay, not to review. Hmm. You don't <laughs> review the classes. Yes. Don't eh, review. Eh, six. Eh, I like tortillas. Tortillas. Mm -hmm. And sweet brea. And, and sweet, sweet brea. My free in your break. Your break? Break. Break. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And seven. Mm -hmm. And I am and Sally consulting. And I coordinate technical visit. Okay, you coordinate the technical visits. Okay. Yes, and eight. Mm -hmm. And head out. Hurley and yep, 
ready mm -hmm. for work. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your nightly routine? And go to go to be X eleven mm -hmm. and uh, sí, que me acuesto muy noche a la oh, you, you sleep late. Are you sleep late? Yes. Okay. Y, y ten, mm -hmm. uh, and BC my distil relatives visit my relatives okay i visit my relatives uh -huh. uh, 11 uh, always uh, always uh, um, siempre always uh -huh. always miss miss my mother who well, is not lawyer why me Okay, you miss your mother. I miss my mother. Mm -hmm. My uh, my mother. Wow. Why? Uh, why exactly. you? Mm -hmm. Is not lawyer. She's not a lawyer. Uh, and with me. Okay. ¿Qué quiere decir? What do you mean, Henry? I didn't get the idea. Uh, Sería, eh, sería 11, ¿verdad? <laughs> Perdón. Uh, 11, what is the strangest fact you know? Mm, siempre, okay. siempre extraño, extraño a mi madre que ya no está conmigo y, y la familia. Ok, I miss my family, let's say. My, my mother, because she's not, she is that longer with me uh -huh. okay uh -huh. yes uh, and 12 12 mm -hmm. uh, 12 uh -huh. 12 and uh, play video games mm -hmm. of mission and soccer mm -hmm. i am a fan of video games you are a fan of video games, okay? <laughs> most of yeah. the, most of the boys love Very video much. games too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's great, right? That is your free time. Thanks. Okay, to you, Henry. Okay, thanks oh. so much yeah. for sharing. Bye okay, bye. let's see. Uh, I don't know if Oscar. Did you present Oscar? Not quite, but I'm, I'm gonna try. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, Just five me... questions, remember. Only five what? questions, only five what? questions. But if you what? want to speak more, it's up to you. Okay. Okay, if you um, want to speak more, there is no problem. Let's hmm. see, number one, what are some hmm. activities like to do? For example, I like to, I like to help to all people when they have some problems mm -hmm. as well let's see letter 12 what do you do in your mm -hmm. free time as usual if 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 i have free time i like to hang in up with uh, with my friends mm -hmm. let's see what do you do Le number seven what do you mm -hmm. do at your job mm -hmm. usually usually in the morning i'm checkpoint and um and i check the employees how arrive oh on time on time oh really that is your work yeah, because it's very complicated. It is. Very, I imagine teacher, it is. It's, it's very complicated because my my boss is my dad. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, but the reason is very complicated, right? Yeah, I imagine. Let's see, let's see. Uh, number ten. What is some time you do about once every month? <laughs> Usually, I every month I watch my motorcycle every month do you have a big one a, yeah. a big motorcycle yeah i have a big motorcycle oh really isn't it dangerous no not always 
How long do you have driving your motorcycle? How much mm -hmm. time do you have? Let's see, 10 years. Oh, you have experience then. A lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Okay, go ahead, continue. Let's see, do you have any bad habit? Mm -hmm. Depend. That's usually when I don't have anything to do, I like to take in a nap and the rest, the, the rest all day. To rest all day. Okay, yeah. perfect. Hey, is there something else you want to share or let me know if you are done. Mm -hmm. Oscar, something else to share? Or that's it? That's it, teacher. Okay, perfect, Oscar, thank you. Okay, by, the, by, by the way, teacher, I'm, I'm making it up in this moment because I couldn't do. Oh, you, you just did it? Okay, that's great. So yeah. your English is, is kind of improving, right? Oh, thanks. I tried to do. No, that's that, that's the point, right? That you can practice here. Okay, congratulations, Oscar. So Thanks. let's listen another person. Let's listen now to maybe Janet. Let me know if you are ready, Janet, so you can share with us your responses. Okay. okay. I can choose five questions. Five, yes, five. If you have them, you can share. Okay, let me see. Uh, what do you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. So I love listening music and sleep. And Is there anything you do only once a year? Yes, of course. I just uh, paint my room once a week, once a year in December for the new year. And the other, what is something you eat almost every day? Uh, sweet bread, with coffee every morning <laughs> and in the evening too. What are some activities you like to do? Sleep, watching, watch TV, listen music, um, rest when I can. In the other, in the last, what do you do at your job? Make report and take assistance from the student. Um, you a teacher, Janet? I'm sorry? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? No, I'm coordinator. Oh, okay. I attend to fathers, mm -hmm. mothers, children, uh, teachers, Oh, <laughs> I imagine, I imagine, yeah, too much work. <laughs> Many things. Many things, yes, I understand. That's all. That's all, okay, that's good. Thank you, Janet. Okay, and somebody else, guys, who wants to share the information? No sé si alguien más que quiera compartir the questions. No. No more, recordemos que ese espacio es para que usted pueda practicar, right? For you to practice. No more? Okay, then. So, let's go to the information we have here, right? Okay, let's have this reading about a long and healthy life. Okay, let's read this. It's an interesting reading about healthy life, la vida saludable, right? Let's have a look of what Japanese people do. So can you help me and uh, maybe Elsie with the first paragraph? Okay. Um, <laughs> on the Japanese island of Okinawa, many people like to be over 100 years old. 
researchers find this in several places around the world, including Sard Sardina, Sardinia, Sardinia uh -huh. Italy, Icaria, Greece, Greece yes. the Nicoya, the Nicoya yes. Peninsula of Costa Rica, and Loma Linda, California. Why do why do people in these areas live so long? The answer is lifestyle. This this life shows six lifestyle habits that are common in this place. Okay, thank you, Elsie. So as you can see. Here, they are discussing about uh, the ways uh, why people live a lot. So we have the places as Japanese people, for example, in Costa Rica and Italy. So why these people live a lot? So let's see what they do. Can you help me, Henry, please, with the first one? Number one, can you read number one, Henry? Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and one, number one, mm -hmm. people and dogs are in movie. I don't, I love they don't, don't say exercise and and I gym, but they and wait a lot duty and and that day. And they use you see dirty body and light activity. Activity. Okay. Thank you, Henry. Yes. This is another. Okay, give me just a second, guys. There's a an animal around. Give me just a moment. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Uh, there, was, there was something here. Okay, so we are seeing here, guys, that, for example, there's algunas formas, right, de lo que estas personas hacen to, para vivir saludable, right, healthy. Tenemos que, por ejemplo, ellos, they move around, se mueven bastante, right, during the day. Eh, ellos caminan, right, they walk a lot and use their bodies actively. So all day long, they are doing something. Es necesario that they go to the gym, right? Okay, let's go with number two. Can you help me, Manuel, please, with number two? What else do they do? Okay, teacher, uh, number two. They have a purpose in their lives. So um, spend time with grandchildren. Others do gardening or volunteer work. Okay, that is another thing they do, right? Ellos tienen un propósito, a purpose, in their lives. Ellos pasan el tiempo with their grandchildren, right? And siempre están haciendo algo, for example, do gardening or volunteer, right? Okay, what is another aspect that they do? Can you help me with number three, Selena, please? Uh, the number three, mm -hmm. they relax every day. They take time to rest and relax. They rarely feel uh, stressed. Okay, perfect, Solima. Thank you. Tenemos que ellos se relajan, right? They relax. Ellos eh, raramente, they rarely feel stressed. Se estresan, right? Sometimes we stress. So... This is a good advice. Okay, can you help me with number four? And uh, let's see, Rose, please, number four, they eat. Hello, Rose, hola, hola. 
stay. No? Okay, Hello? there you are. Okay, number four, Rose, please. Number four. They eat loads of vegetables and they usually don't eat meat. Mm, lo opuesto a nosotros, right? The opposite to all of us, maybe. They eat lots of vegetables, right? Muchos vegetales. And they usually don't eat meat. Lo opuesto to a nuestra cultura, to our culture. Okay, thank you, Rose. Can you help me with the next one? Let's see, Janet, please, number five. They have many friends. They are part of an activity social group. Okay, that is another active, active, right? Active social group. Social group. Okay, there you see that they have a lot of friends and uh, they are part, right? For example, you can be part of a church, of a social group, of the community, but you have to be active, right? Difficult, sometimes difficult. Okay, and the last one, Manuel, please, they feel. Number six, they feel close to their families. Okay, that is another aspect for having a healthy life, to stay close with their families. Okay, what do you think about this reading, eh, Oscar? What do you think about this reading? Do you do these tips, let's say, Oscar? Do you do the tips? Or do you well, follow the tips? I consider that the other culture is very weird, like us. Weird, weird, really? Weird. Extraña, weird? Yeah, because Why? they are they are so, how do you say? Mm -hmm. Organizados? Organized, well organized. They are so organized. The other guys in our country is mm -hmm. different. <laughs> it can be some people, some people, some right? People. Some persons, some persons can be uh, I guess, different. I guess so. <laughs> okay, yeah. That depends, right? That depends of each person. Okay, there you have some. Aquí tenemos también some examples of the of the simple present, right? Tenemos don't, for example, don't exercise. Tenemos el verbo leave, leave. Tenemos el verbo find. Tenemos shows. There, there are a lot of verbs. So let's move on. No sé si hay alguna duda with a word, any word, for example, that maybe you don't know, or everything is clear. In this case, what is the meaning about grandchildren? Grandchildren, like, uh, for example, los nietos, the grandchildren. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other guys? No? Okay. So let's move on then with the with the grammar, right? That we have for today. And the most some time expressions, right? Time expressions. Time expressions. Que utilizamos that we use in the simple present. So we have, for example, at. Que lo vamos a utilizar with time, right? Time. Luego tenemos early, temprano, early. Vamos a utilizarlo with in, early, in the afternoon, early, in the morning, early, in the evening. Then we have, for example, around, alrededor de rayo, cerca de las once. And then we have late. Then we have until, hasta, until midnight. Then we have before, antes de. Then we have afternoon, after noon, right? So then we have uh, the, the expression, for example, on, que lo vamos a utilizar con los días de la semana, on Friday, on Saturday. También tenemos the other expressions, right? On weekends, on Thursdays, on weeknights, and on weekends. Okay, and then we have, for example, the expressions with clock time. 7 o'clock or 7 a.m., 7 in the morning. 
and those expressions that we can use with time. Okay, do you have questions about, for example, uh, any word here? Questions? No. No, okay, good. So let's practice, right? Let's practice. Okay, we have, for example, we have to choose a word. We have, I get up at, at of what? We have weekends, right? So what is the, the word that we have to use in the, in the sentences? Okay, I get up, we have that it is at six, six K. We use at or on with um, weekend. With days. On weekdays, right? Okay, there you have. What about two? I have lunch, seria at or early. At, at right, porque at. tenemos una hora. Is it in Mondays or on Mondays? On, on Mondays. On Mondays, yes. Then we have, I have a snack in or around. Around. What? Around, right. And seria in or at? At. At. So then we have four, seria in on Fridays. What is the on, word? On Fridays. On on Fridays, that's right. I leave school early or before? Early. Early, yeah, that's right. Then we have, I stay up before or until. What is the expression that we have to use? Before. before. I before. stay. Okay, we can say I stay up until two. We can use until, right? Yeah. Or, or before two. Okay, and is it in or on? On. on? on, right. And I sleep around until, what is the expression? Around. Until. It can be until, right? Hasta mediodía, until noon. Is it in or on? On. On, on right. On. Okay. So basically the other will repeat almost the same thing. So do you have questions about this part, guys? No. No. Okay, so let's continue. And uh, now we're going to see, okay, some of the jobs, right? Most of us are like very strange. Do you know any job that it is strange? Conocen algún trabajo que sea, for example, raro, strange? Do you know any job, guys, that it is strange? Mm -hmm. That it is strange. For example, in El Salvador, hay algún trabajo que usted diga, that job es muy raro. No? Okay, let's watch a video because, yes, there are jobs that are very strange very weird and uh, so we can discuss and we can follow up the activity. Give me just a moment to share with you this video about the jobs, right, that are, some of them are really strange. They are sort say. See? And uh, let me know if you can see the screen. Podemos ver. Can you see the screen, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So let's have a look of the weirdest or strangest job that we can see. When we think about jobs, we tend to think about the usual boring ones. Librarian, construction worker. However, there are many other very strange jobs that need to be done too. Here are 10 of the weirdest jobs in the world. No, before you go. Number one, odor evaluator worldwide. Do you remember those commercials when you see someone chewing gum after having lunch and he says, ah, fresh breath? Well, there are some guys smelling people's breath whilst chewing all different mm. kinds of gum to get the fresh smelling result. Number two, 
Duckmaster, USA. This bizarre job is tradition in the Peabody hotels of Memphis, Little Rock and Orlando since 1940. A trained duck master marches a troop of ducks into the lobby every morning for the guests to admire and take photos. After completing their three month stint, the duck master then takes them on a holiday tour visiting schools and senior centers. Some would say it's quackers. Number three. Ash Portrait Artist, Missouri When one of our relatives die and we want to keep their ashes, we don't always know what to do with them. Put them on a shelf? Scatter them by a tree? However, there are some artists that can use them to create a portrait of the person that died. So now their remains can become a picture on the wall. Number 4. Professional Apologizer, Japan OK, this one only happens, guess where? That's right, in Japan. Japanese people are so hardworking that they can take care of pretty much anything. Anything but saying sorry, apparently. So they hire a professional to go to the offended person's residence and ask for their forgiveness in the most respectful way. Number 5. Professional Hitchhiker, Indonesia in Indonesia, the government has restricted some lanes of traffic to only cars with three or more people. So these trained professionals will offer their company in your car in case you can't fill the car with three people. Now you can enjoy the insane traffic with two paid strangers in your car. Yay! <laughs> Number 6. Professional Elephant Dresser, Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka, they perform a lot of ceremonies involving elephants. The problem is that they put clothes on the elephants, and as you can imagine, they're very hard to get dressed. So these professionals manage to get the elephant ready for the event. Number 7. Bike Fishermen, Amsterdam In Amsterdam, the ground is so flat that most people ride a bike instead of using a car. The thing is that many of those bikes end up in the canal when people don't want them anymore. So these fishermen hunt and fish them out of the water to keep it clean. Number 8. Professional Mourner, Asia It's very sad when someone dies, but it's even sadder when no one turns up to that person's funeral. The professional mourners are hired to go to the cemetery and cry for the deceased as if he were their best friend. Number 9. Oshia, Japan In Japan, it's almost mandatory to use the metro. It's very extensive and connects everywhere. But when there are too many people, these professionals take action. They cram people into the carriages in order to get the doors closed. <sighs> Number 10. Professional Sleeper, Finland in Finland, they're very concerned about sleeping well. So these professionals are paid to test mattresses, pillows and quilts, write reports on comfort, room lighting, feelings, noise disruption and other comfy details, just to make sure that you're going to get the best sleep possible. What's the weirdest job you've ever done? Okay, guys, what can you tell me about what, what is the one that caught your attention the weirdest? ¿Cuál es el que le llamó la más la atención? What is the weirdest job? In your case, a Henry, for example. What can be the weirdest job? A number seven. Number seven? Which one? What, what is that one? Yes. Let's see. What is the one you said? Oh, number... Let's see. Number seven. This one. These ones are the ones that... Bike fishers, right? Yes. Que okay. Tenía, que tenía como un medio de transporte y lo desecharon. Oh, yes, imagine just yes. to throw away your bike. Yes. And uh, that is something that we don't do here, right? <laughs> es algo que no hacemos en El Salvador. That is something we, that we never do. Okay, thank you, Henry. What about you, Oscar? What okay. is there? What is another job that you say? It is the weirdest. In my personal opinion, I consider that the weird job is the mourner. The mourner? The one yeah. that, what number? I forgot what is the number, but La Doliente. Okay. Oh, the one that you apologize. 
No, 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 no. When when the people passed away, there is oh. a lot of people who. And you have to know. say, and you are crying for the person, yeah. this one. Because professional it, mourner. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it, professional mourner. Mm -hmm. let me, teacher, let me tell you that in our country, there mm -hmm. is there is uh, uh, the same the same job, mm -hmm. like weeping woman. Oh, really? Yeah, because if I remember when my grandma passed away, the the company of a funeral mm -hmm. told me, do you want to do you want do you want the, to send a weapon woman? What? <laughs> yeah. Really? Really? Yeah, really yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Yes, definitely, right. Yeah, in that case, maybe it happened when the person was alone, right? And the person doesn't have like friends or family. So that happened wrong. Can can I say in the Spanish, teacher? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Así me dijeron cuando uh -huh. mi abuela, la compañía, este, si querían proporcionarme lloronas. Sí, porque yes. no si no podían llorar, me dijeron que me, me ponían dos lloronas cada 12 horas. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This war is changing a lot. <laughs> okay, thank you, Oscar. What about you, Janet? What, what was the weirdest job you, you that, that caught your attention? No, the fear was the same professional mourner. That one, yeah, because I think uh, some profession to cry in the funeral mm -hmm. is very strange. And the other, uh, the person may dress for the elephant. Yes, that one, right? Maybe here we we can see that, but in these countries, maybe right. Would you hire or pay for a professional dresser for an elephant? Pagaría usted? Would you pay? Maybe here for uh, for someone make a dress for cat. Oh yes, dog. right. Yeah, nowadays here, yeah, we can find that that they uh, create some costumes, right? Okay, thank you, Janet. Okay, guys, we still have some minutes. So we are going to try to work um, this activity. Maybe we can uh, start and uh, and tomorrow we can present, right? Let me just share with you the task and uh, we can have, uh, we can start, right? I will let you work these 10 minutes and so what are we going to do? You're going to choose, for example, um, one of the weirdest right, jobs, the ones that you watched in the video. If you have more or if you have one that you want to share, okay, you can choose, right? You can choose. Podemos elegir uno de los que vimos en el video or you can choose from the internet one weird job that catches you. You're going to create a presentation and include please pictures and don't forget to include the following information. What's the job, for example? Where do they work? The country, for example? And what do they do? What are the main activities? For that, you are going to include five descriptions of the main activities of the job, right? So do you have questions about the activity? We're going to work in pairs, so you can present one presentation and include both parts, right? So, no questions. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo en pareja. Y una presentación, right? Con la información de each person, de cada persona. So, do you have questions about the activity? No? Oh, sorry, teacher. Huh? Uh, no sé si me pudiera explicar en español porque si no entendí muy bien okay, qué es lo okay. que hay que hacer. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a elegir uno de los trabajos raros, right? de los que vimos en el video o también usted lo puede buscar en internet si alguno que le llame la atención. Vamos a crear una presentation, vamos a incluir imágenes relacionadas al trabajo. 
Y vamos a incluir la información, right? Cómo se llama el trabajo, o cuál es el trabajo, dónde trabajan ellos, y cinco descripciones de lo que ellos hacen. Básicamente, okay. that is going to be. Les voy a dar este minuto restante. A las nueve en punto voy a terminar la, la reunión. Y en ese tiempo usted puede avanzar con su compañero en la presentación. Lo vamos a hacer en pareja, pero la información va a ser individual, ¿ok? Es para tener unas just one presentation for each partner. Ok, let's go. No sé si hay otra, alguien más tenga dudas. Si no está su compañero, don't worry, you can work alone. Ok, no questions. No, Manuel. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, el, el link del video, si lo pudiera compartir para sure. verlo nuevamente. Yeah, sure. La, se los comparto en WhatsApp, ok? I'm going to share it in WhatsApp. Thanks. Ok, let's go. Go, Oscar, don't forget, we're working. Hello, Janet. Do you have questions? No, no, I'm sorry. I I go out without getting. Oh, okay, let, let, let me just try to send you again so you can continue working. Okay, thank you. Oh, Janet, let's try, please. Okay, but it's, maybe we have a problem here. Like, mm
Okay, guys, I hope you finished uh, the presentations. Tomorrow we are going to present. Don't forget that. So I hope to see you tomorrow and uh, have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to finish the presentations, okay? See you tomorrow, yes. guys. Yes, Manuel? And the presentation is PowerPoint? It's in PowerPoint, yeah. If you have okay. PowerPoint, yeah, you can work on that. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, uh, my pleasure. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. You too. Have a good night. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.